Good day, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for August 28th to September 3rd. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. If I seem to be talking fast, or I mess up my words, or anything like that, it's because I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, because the AC is off, so you can hear me. And uh, it's like 100-something degrees outside, so it's getting really warm in here. This is my eighth reading right now, so I need to really get going. So anyway, let us see what we got for you, Scorpio. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Jack of Hearts. Ace of Hearts, whoo. Nine of Hearts, yeah, Scorpio. And, uh, wow, King of Hearts. Okay, so water. Water is a big, big thing right now for you, okay? Uh, your energy this week is kind heartedness, kind hearted friend and lover. You're honest, you're an honest friend and lover. And uh, you need to really keep that up throughout the week, no matter what happens. But from the other cards that I just saw, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. Uh, perhaps maybe this week is going to make you more, more kind-hearted and a, a friend or lover. Mm, sorry. It might make you more honest and more kind-hearted. The things that are about to happen to you this week. So uh, at the beginning of the week, uh, you're going to be very attractive, uh, both in business and in love. So if you have a business idea or anything like that, get it out there, man. Get it out there. Speak it. Talk it. Show it. You know, don't don't hold it back. Get out there. Uh, go places. Talk to people about it. Mingle, you know. Uh, if you don't like going places, then get online and mingle with people and just really push whatever project or idea that you have in your mind. Push it right now because you're attractive. People want to listen to you. People want to be around you they want to know what you want to do and all that good stuff and the same goes with love if you're looking for love or you have a love interest it is time to go out and get it because there might be love already watching you right now you might have a few people watching you right now because you are attractive very attractive in all sense of the word uh, and people are going to just gravitate you like a magnet so uh, yeah go out don't don't hold back if you have an idea and you want to pitch it to somebody, you pitch it. If you have a love interest, you pitch it. Uh, if you want to find business, somebody to help you with your business or find love or whatever, go out or go online and make it known that you're looking for somebody or whatever. Just put it out there. And then in the middle of the week, true love. There's going to be true love. It's all sunshine and fucking rainbows with this person, whoever it is. So this might very well, I mean, with all the hearts... Uh, the, you might just be looking for love. That might be what's going on here. Or you're looking for a renewal of love. Because this card this card can be true love with a partner, a friend, or a family member. And this can be either somebody new in your life, which I'm thinking it's somebody new. Uh, or it can be somebody that you're already with. And that's just going to be a new true love. Something amazing is going to happen between the two of you. But whatever it is, if a person approaches you, or you approach a person and you're questioning, is this real? The cards are saying, yeah, this is true love. 110% go for it. Uh, this will be a good thing for you. It's all sunshine and fucking rainbows, baby. So you go ahead and you go for this love, whatever, with whoever it is that's coming towards you. But it also can be a family member or a friend coming back into your life that you had a falling out with. Uh, and now they're coming back and you know, um, everything's different or whatever, and you can take them back. I mean, I'm really starting to be against that because the thing is that I'm, I'm against giving people too many chances, but cards say that it's 110% to go for it, but I think really this is somebody that you found or somebody that's approached you for love, and that's what the true love is. At the end of the week, oh, look at this, wish fulfilled, love, happiness, joy, be grateful for what you have, because you have so much, you are so blessed at the end of the week here, celebrate it, I mean, really celebrate it, really just enjoy this whole week, 
I mean, no wonder why your energy is kind-hearted, friend and lover, honesty. Look at this week. It's amazing for love. Just amazing. I don't know if you're looking for love. I'm sure some of you are. So if you are, boom, bam, boom. I mean, you got it going on, like big time, big time. Let's see, let's see if tarot is going to offer anything more on this love, you know. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? Oh. I'm not going to count that. What lessons need to be learned? And that card is the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning. And it also leads to a chain of events, which I mean, Jesus, look at this chain of events. Attractiveness, search love, find love, true love, fucking just amazing, right into to more love, more happiness. It's just a chain reaction of love. Blah, it's crazy. It's wild, man. So, I mean, yeah, uh, and this would be... This would be, and this is your own element here, water. It's your own element that you're in right now. So this could be another water sign. You know, this could be a Cancer or a uh, another Scorpio or possibly a Pisces uh, coming into your life that is just full of love. And this can, this can be, this can be a family member or a friend that you're just, you know, having a, you know, that you guys just really care about each other or whatever that you might meet. But with this card. I just, I picture it being actually love, like somebody like you're going to fall in love with or something here. I mean, there's no sign that you, that you're going to fall in love or anything, or, but there is true love. So it's just going to be, you're just going to have a good week. You really are. You're going to have a good week and it's going to keep you in a kind hearted manner. So this is just going to be a really good week in love for you. I mean, if you're with somebody already, then this is just going to be a, uh, a big step forward in your in your love relationship. Something good is going to happen to you in love. I mean, the cards can't scream it enough. So, I hope this resonates. I really hope this resonates with you. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.